Hello and welcome to this a exciting and scary let's play of Jurassic Heart. Exciting because Jurassic Heart. Scary because I'm going to have to attempt to woo one of the most dangerous predators in Earth's history. A dinosaur. Now, of course, English. Enter a name. Uh, are we just entering our, our name or a name? Okay, well, we'll go... Go. Oh, what? Why is it not letting me type? Oh, oh, because we have to click. Okay, camera. Andy. Okay, submit. Um. Alright, it's time to go buy a ukulele with Tiara Kun? Hmm. Maybe I should buy him a meal too. I'm the reason why his old one is broken after all. What, his meal or something else? Come to think of it, isn't this going to be the first time I meet him outside of school? Now, that makes me nervous. It does. I'm so uncomfortable right now. I'm really nervous. Better make sure I don't look fun. <laughs> I don't look funny. <laughs> I'm wearing my cloud trans. Which hair clip should I go for? Um, The usual fossil shaped hair clip? The treble cleft shaped hair clip? Or the meat on the bone <laughs> shaped hair clip? Um, Okay, if I wear the fossil one, would that be considered like cultural insult, you know, like a, a faux pas. The treble cleft, that would be insulting because, you know, I, I, I broke his ukulele, I think. And meat on the bone, I'm risking looking like a meat on the bone as well. So, ugh. I'm gonna risk it and go meat on the bone shaped hair clip. Risky. And it's pretty cute. So, oh my god. Yummy. Um... Hopefully Tiara could, will like meat like I do. Oh, I really, I really think so. Oh, we've got to hurry. We're, we're running late. We don't want to, we don't want to. <laughs> we don't want to miss our date. Oh, there, wait. It's a he, so Tiara Kun is a dude's name. I don't, okay. Did I make you? Oh, look at him! Oh, he's giving me the—he's giving me the eyes there. Can you see? Look at those eyes. He's like, mm, "Hey, darling, not at all, Cam Randy. I just got here as well. By the way, that hair clip. Oh, oh is this. I—I I, I thought it might be good to wear something different once in a while. And my favorite food is meat. So, oh, really? I like meat too. Now the eyes have changed. They haven't physically changed, but that added smile and the insinuation of meat. Shh. Whoa, I, I didn't know that. <laughs> Maybe we could have a grilled chicken for dinner. I. That doesn't sound too bad, actually. No, no, it doesn't. I'd like to have a bit of grilled chicken. It looks like this is going... Why? Because you just agreed that you both want chicken. That doesn't... A good... Chicken a good date does not make. Um, as the old saying goes. So, ready to get your new ukulele? Let's go! Let's -a go! Is uh... What? Oh, we. Oh, oh, I have to click. Um. Oh, here we go. We've got the. Alright. Let's get your, your nice ukulele. Come on. <laughs> Whoa! You really are fired up about this, aren't you? I'm fired up about something, I'm telling you. I think it's your, um, tiny arms. Uh, Tiarakun, I am the one who put you into that situation with the music club. Of course I feel bad. I do feel bad, whatever that situation was. So, choose whatever you like. It's on me. Oh my god. If somebody was to walk me into a music shop and be like, J just anything, just pick anything, I'd be like, alright, this drum set. This grand piano. Actually, I'll take both. Three of each. Um, yeah, ab about that. Uh, I know how you feel, but I want you to know that it wasn't your fault. Oh, he's, look, he's being... Oh, he's being understanding. You didn't know that I'd panic in front of people. I did, and dropped my old ukulele. Break so, actually, technically, it's his fault. 
Like, we put him into a situation. Sure. But he's the, like... He's, he's the, the, the T-Rex that dropped it. So... Yeah, it's your fault. I'm not buying you a new one. Asshole. <laughs> Actually, don't anger the T-Rex. Which wouldn't have happened if I didn't force you to play in front of them. But you didn't. I chose to do it myself. <laughs> if you were forcing me, I wouldn't be here. Aw, look, he's being really sweet. He's like... Aw, I feel really bad for him now. Alright, no, you're not an asshole anymore. Really, I'd feel terrible if you had to pay for something I did. Uh, so, let just let me pay for it, okay? It's hard to tell from his face, but he sounds really upset. What should I do? It's hard to tell from his face. I don't really think that T-Rexes communicate through facial expressions. I think they have pissed off, hungry, and... Eh, I'm feeling alright. They don't have, like shirking blame or whatever what should i do uh, insist on paying ask him to pay half the price give up and let him pay i feel maybe we should go halvesies because i'm already feeling like you know half of this was my fault half of this was his fault really so because i forced him he did it so we'll pay halvesies um there we go it's alright, I'm glad you understand. Still, I really feel like part of it's my fault, so how about we meet halfway? I want to meet him halfway, if you know what I mean. Yeah. What? Both of us pay half the price and the ukulele we choose, so the ukulele will be ours. Oh my god, this is like, this is like getting a dog. We've got a dog, except he won't eat it, which is nice. Our ukulele? Huh? 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 You know what ukulele means from now on. Huh? Huh? Means responsibilities. And we have to wake up every night and feed it. <laughs> of course, this doesn't mean I'll play it, because I have no idea how to play one. I'm more of a singer. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. So, you have to let me sing along to whatever you play. Oh, I can't sing. No negotiation. <laughs> I imagine I've just got like a little desk in front of me Like the guy at the cashier is there and we're paying for it And I'm like, no negotiation, you hear that Phil? We don't negotiate with T-Rexes Sure, I'll just play a song you don't know Oh my god, so okay, now this is rude Because I'm like, I can sing And he can play But now he's like, I don't know if you can sing And I don't want to hear you sing so I'll just play shit you don't know. Oh, are we going to bring that up? Then I'll just sing a random song along anyway. Take that, you scaly bastard. <laughs> For some reasons, I know you'd say that. For some reasons. Is that... Oh, oh hang on. Actually, shit. I might have been being really rude. That might be how T-Rexes speak. Shit. Okay, We'll back away from that one. Anyway, our ukulele. I like that. Are we going to name it? Thank you, camera. That's fine. Well, our ukulele won't choose itself, will it? Let's go find one. Okay. Okay. We spend our time looking for a ukulele that we both like. After looking through the store, we finally find a solid wood one. <laughs> pushing the boat out it's not like pink with sparkles on or anything it's just a wood one i think the size is a bit too small for him but hey as long as he's happy with it right after that we go to the park and have some grilled chicken what fucking park is that is that a park where there's like fucking barbecues lined up every what the hell jerichon must really love them he eats them really really fast Oh, I didn't realise it's evening or red. No, it just got orange. It just does that occasionally. It just goes orange. <laughs> Neither did I. Guess it's time to go home. Huh. Your place or mine? <laughs> I'll walk you to the station. Uh, wait. He's the... Okay, I'm really confused now. Am I me? Am I me? Am I a dude going on a date with a dude dinosaur? Or am I meant to be a... Am I a girl? I think I'm a girl. Right. 
Okay, I've got it. So, mm, he should he should be walking me to the station. Not the other way around. Unless I live locally and he doesn't. Which, you know, we're living in kind of modern times. He's living in the Jurassic. Just... I think he has to take more than a fucking train. Just saying. Um, well, hmm, what's wrong? May I ask what you're, what you're going to do after this? Well, I was going to go home and brush my hair and play some games and maybe make a steak lunch and uh, play some more games and maybe brush my teeth, then go to sleep and then wake up and not much really, tons of homework, tons of student association work. Um, not much really. <laughs> Why? Well, I was wondering if you could stay a bit longer. Oh, look, look! Oh, he's blushing. I have something to talk to. Oh, shit. Okay, that sounds really serious. Of course. Really, th thank you. So, what do you want to talk about? Well, it's about my fear of performing in front of many people. I've never told you this, but I was never like this. Up until junior high school, that is. Flashback. I see. What happened? Well, when my body was still small, it was easy for me to pick up a ukulele. During junior high school, I started growing bigger, and things weren't the same as they used to be. During a concert high school event, there was an accident. Someone tripped and hit me! <laughs> I hit me completely! <laughs> I tried to pick you up! <laughs> but I couldn't! <laughs> horrible to say the least. My friend helped me pick my ukulele up, but it was far too late. I couldn't move a single muscle. I just stood there, <laughs> frozen. Ever since that day, every time I perform in front of many people, I can't stop crying. It's so sad. I couldn't help but ask myself these questions. Will I drop my instrument again? I know how we feel sometimes. I just dropped my instrument too. What would happen if I did? Will they laugh at me? And I'm just stunned into silence. <sighs> On that note, I've been Andy, you've been awesome. Thank you very much for la laughing along with me. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>